I am Dr. Ashok Kumar Vanupadasu. In this video, I am explaining all of you about vaccines which are used in sheep and goat sector in India. In India, sheep and goat are reared under open grazing system. And because of open grazing system, sheep and goat are frequently exposed to infectious disease. And they always suffer with stress also. Stress due to imbalance and insufficient nutrition and also due to repeated infestation with worms. Because of stress, and because of frequent exposure to infectious disease, there are outbreaks of disease also. The best way to deal with the disease is to prevent it from occurring. Prevention is always better than cure. Vaccination is a part of preventive health. And vaccination is a practice of building immunity against a specific infectious disease by injecting vaccines. Vaccination is a practice of building immunity against specific infectious disease by injecting vaccines. Few specific diseases like PPR, pox, blue tongue, FMD can be prevented by timely vaccination. Outbreaks are generally due to neglected vaccination or due to failure of vaccination. An understanding about vaccines and their type is very important for field vets for effective immunization and thereby for controlling outbreaks. Vaccine is a biological agent. It is an antigenic substance prepared from the causative agent of a disease. Antigenic substance may be a microorganism, may be a virus, may be a protein, may be a toxin. There are other types of vaccines also. Subunit vaccines, conjugate vaccines, DNA vaccines, recombinant vector vaccines. But these are not in use in sheep and goat sector in India. Available vaccines are of two types. Attenuated vaccines and inactivated vaccines. Attenuated vaccines are known as live vaccines also. They are weakened vaccines, have low virulence, they are more fragile. And viral attenuated vaccines are in freeze-dried status. All those field vets, they can try to recollect the PPR vaccine vial where we found the vaccine in a tablet shape, that is freeze-dried status. And the dilution is required for inoculating the animals. Single dose gives full immunity. And attenuated vaccine may be a bacterial vaccine or viral vaccine. Inactivated vaccines are killed vaccines. They are ready to use, no dilution required. So the major difference between attenuated vaccines and inactivated vaccines is, for live vaccines, dilution is required. For inactivated vaccines, no dilution required. They are ready to use. And booster dose is required for inactivated vaccines. And an inactivated vaccine may be a bacterial vaccine or viral vaccine. And toxides, all inactivated toxides also, they fall under the category of killed vaccines. It is very easy to remember what is inactivated vaccine and what is attenuated vaccine. All those vaccines which are ready to use are inactivated vaccines. All those vaccines which needs reconstructions are attenuated vaccines. Available vaccines in India for sheep and goat. In India, vaccines are available for 11 diseases only. Here is the list of available vaccines. Six types of viral vaccines are available. PPR, sheep pox, goat pox, blue tongue, foot and mouth, and rabies. Five types of bacterial vaccines are available. Tetanus vaccine, enterotoxemia vaccine, HS vaccine, brucellosis, and anthrax. These are the 11 types of vaccines which are available in India for inoculating to sheep and goat. Let us look at what are the attenuated vaccines and what are inactivated vaccines and what are inactivated toxides. As explained in the earlier slide, attenuated vaccine may be a viral vaccine and may be a bacterial vaccine. So the viral vaccines which falls under the category of attenuated vaccines are PPR, sheep pox, goat pox. The bacterial attenuated vaccines are brucella and anthrax. Viral inactivated vaccines are gluten, FMD and rabies. Bacterial inactivated vaccines are enterotoxemia and hemorrhagic septicemia. Tetanus toxide vaccine 
is an inactivated toxide. So these are the 11 types of vaccines which are available in India. Here are few pictures. The EBO5 are attenuated vaccines. And the following below 5 are inactivated vaccines. Few combined vaccines are also available. Enterotoxemia plus tetanus toxide and foot and mouth disease and HS. But one important point which are to be noted by all the field vets are there are certain diseases for which vaccines are not available. See HS, ET and BT. These three vaccines are available but they do not have all the strains which causes disease in the field. For example, if you take HS, the vaccine available contains only Pacharella multocida, not P. hemolytica. But in general, in the field, sheep and goat, they suffer with P. hemolytica infection only. Majorly, they suffer with P. hemolytica and compared to P. multocida. Likewise, in ET, the vaccine available gives protection against Clostridium perfringens type D, not for A, B, C type of infections. And the vaccine available in the field against blue tongue virus is a pentavalent vaccine. It covers only five strains, five serotypes, not all strains. So this is the main reason why the field veterinarians are the shepherds or the new interpreters, they frequently complain about the occurrence of HS even after inoculating against HS. And they always give complaint about death or mortality in the flock, showing the ET type of symptoms. Even if it is vaccinated against enterotoxemia, there is every possibility of getting infection with Clostridium perfringens type A, B, C. And in case of blue tongue also, the vaccine available is a pentavalent vaccine. Even if the animals are inoculated with blue tongue virus, there is every possibility of outbreak of blue tongue, which may be caused with the other strains which are not available with the blue tongue virus. Lotan vaccine. And please note the few pictures which are inserted in this video are for easy understanding only. It is not that these products are promoted. Thank you for watching.